Hello, it's Melissa Errico, and welcome back to Out of the Dark, the mystery of film noir, a film festival running at FIOF until July 5th. You can see all the movies in person on Tuesdays and all week, each week. So I hope you're enjoying the movies and um, possibly we're able to check out our noir-inspired concert, the third of our series that I did live on the stage for a live audience on May 6th. Adam Gopnik spoke beautifully about film noir, about all the ideas around it, and about the femme fatale, how she was invented, who invented her, and her, the meanings around her. And then possibly I added a little bit about the femme fatale and how she might proceed in the year 2021 and beyond. Ted Firth played piano absolutely beautifully. We had amazing songs and I had something quite nice to wear on that stage. I was very honored to be able to write a fun essay in the New York Times about the making of that dress and the meanings of getting dressed at this time. It's in the New York Times. You can look it up. My name, Melissa Errico, and the title, Back in the Girdle. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy the writing. Uh, we've really enjoyed this film festival. Adam Gopnik and I love putting together these movies. This one is a good one. This is a really good one. They're all good. Out of the Past from 1947 is the greatest film noir to many minds, yet it's not like most film noir. It's set in a small town in Northern California. It tells the story of a man who is in flight from his fate, who finds out that you can't flee your fate. His fate, in this case, is a woman, the femme fate all, you might say. It has some of the snappiest dialogue in movies, and I saved a couple for you because uh, they're just so good. Here we go. They're playing roulette, and Jeff says, that's not the way to win. Kathy, is there a way to win? He says, there's a way to lose more slowly. Love that. Another one, I sell gasoline. I make a profit. With that, I buy groceries. The grocer makes a profit. We call it earning a living. You may have heard of it somewhere. And this one, my favorite. I knew I'd go every night until she showed up. I knew she knew it. I sat there and drank bourbon and I shut my eyes, but I knew where I was and what I was doing. What a sucker I was. I even knew she wouldn't come the first night. She waited until it was late and then she walked in, out of the moonlight, smiling. So good. What makes this movie truly unforgettable are the performances. Jane Greer, uh, not the biggest star, but the best incarnation of the femme fatale in her role as Kathy. So above all, enjoy the interplay between Mitchum, the incarnation of the man of regrets, the sleepy eyed and wearied but honest to the core man, and Kirk Douglas as wit in one of his greatest performances. He is really the living, breathing, masculinity itself, bristling with brutal energy, as you will see. So the sum of the film is truly tragic. Jeff cannot escape his fate, but his fate becomes his life. And I hope you will enjoy that gentle ambiguity at the end between the deaf boy and the good girl. Jeff has a better life in the present than the past, but the past is the life that he wanted. So. Enjoy the story, and I look forward to seeing you in the future and many times to come. Enjoy tonight, and it's really good to see you.